It was in here say amen. Amen. All oh, said like you mean it, praise God. Amen. Say it like you was at UK, amen to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Paint your body red for the blood oh. of Jesus, amen to God. Hallelujah. Start running the aisles, amen to God, like Pentecostals should. Praise God. Hallelujah. I think some Pentecostals today are ashamed to get out and dance for Jesus anymore. Amen. I can remember a time, praise God, when people didn't care what other people thought. Praise God, the Holy Ghost moved. You'd roll in the floor, praise God, like a well out of water. Amen. Praise God, you'd be like a duck. Amen to God, quacking around, jumping pews. Amen to God. I was at a service one time. Praise God, and the Spirit moved on this woman. And I'll tell you, it was the Lord was moving on tremendously. She jumped up in the middle of the pew, and this is the truth, and the pew broke in two. Amen. <laughs> Not hallelujah that broke in two, but it, it broke in two, and she fell back, and she popped up and ran the aisle. I thought, my, 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 she didn't let that stop her. Amen to God. The Spirit Amen. was moving on her. Praise God. I can just remember a time, praise God, when people would, would just cry when they heard about Jesus. Amen to God. Yeah. And what He did at the cross. You know, this whole... Baptism of the Holy Ghost is more than just screaming and shouting and running. It's power. Come on. It's power that He's promised to give to each and every one of us. Amen to God. If Amen. We believe. And so many people today have wandered away from their first love. They've wandered away from their, their protection. They've wandered away from the, the God who said He would supply and meet their every need. Amen to God. Amen. We've wandered away. We've, we're like the children of Israel. We've wandered in the wilderness. We've murmured and complained so long that we, we've just we've pushed ourselves and, and walked away from God. And, and it's not Him that's moving away. It's us. Come on. And you know, I hear so many people today, and Facebook is, is, is a big thing nowadays. You can get on there and read so many things. But if you actually read what people post on there, there's some miserable people in this world. I mean, they get on Facebook, and thank God for Facebook, but they get on there, and sometimes you can tell a lot about a person by what they write. You can tell if a person's happy, you can tell if they're sad, if they're mad, if, you know, whatever. And, and I come across a couple individuals this week, I won't name their names, but hallelujah, they, they, are, they claim to be born-again believers, spirit-filled, letting God have His way. But what they say, praise God, on Facebook would make me, make me wonder. Come on. I mean, they, they, they proclaim that they believe that God can meet their need, but when they say something on Facebook, it's completely opposite. Yeah. And to me, that's a double, that's a double-minded person, if you ask me. Amen. I'm all. I mean, that's a person who don't know if he's coming or going. Amen to God. I'm who all. doesn't know if he's hot or cold. And I know that Jesus said in Revelation that he'd rather either you be hot or cold, but if you're lukewarm, he would spew you out of his mouth or vomit you out. I'm all. See, God is looking for some red-hot Christians today. Amen. Amen. Praise God. He's looking for some folks. Praise God, who's not afraid to be persecuted for the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Who's not afraid to take a stand for believing and reading and taking a stand for the King James Version Bible. Amen to God. Amen. Who will not compromise his faith for nothing. Praise God. Instead, he will continue to march and move onward. Amen to God. Knowing he's got a purpose to do something for the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. He's been commissioned and called, or she's been commissioned and called by God. They've got a purpose. They've got a vision that God has given them. What's happened to the church today? Amen Come to on. God. They lack a vision anymore. We need to have a vision, praise God. We need yeah. to say, God, open my eyes up to your word, praise God. Open my eyes up to the things in the spirit, praise God. Help me to quit being so carnal minded. Let me be spiritual minded. Let me be like you, praise God. Remove my mind, God, and put your mind in me. Lord, remove my sight and let you see through me, praise God. We need to look with the eyes of faith nowadays because we are truly in the last days. Jesus Christ is coming back again and very, very soon, praise God. We can look at the economic system and see people losing their jobs, amen to God. People going broke, amen to God. Banks shutting down. Businesses shutting down. People don't know if they're coming or going. They're running to and fro after everything. They try to get help from the church, and the church turns them away. I'm telling you right now, church, we need to depend on God now more than ever, praise Amen. God. Because God is the only one that's going to get us through this tough time. 
Amen. Oh man, I thought I had some Christians in here shouting on that. Oh, praise God. Amen. Because right now we've got to trust in Jesus and Him alone. Amen. Praise God. You can't trust in the government. Come on. Amen. They've already proven, praise God, that there's no help there. Well, praise God, if you're elderly oh. and you're getting at the age of retirement, you may not get Social Security yeah. as you've paid over the years in your check, amen, to God. Oh. You've worked hard and paid that money in, and now you won't get it because I'm going to be honest with you, praise God. We've got a bunch of moochers in this nation, praise God, oh. who want to lay on their back, pump out kids, amen, to God, and live off those people, praise God, who worked hard, amen, to God, and then when something happens and they're not able to work, the very government, praise God, that's taking the money from them, won't even take a thing to bend there to help them, amen to God. And that just bothers me, amen to God. This nation used to be a God-fearing nation, and it's time to resort to serving other gods, going after the way of Balaam, amen to God. Amen. And it bothers me, amen to God. Bothers me to my core, hallelujah. Amen. This nation needs to repent and get saved, amen to God. Oh. Repent of their wickedness, amen to God. Amen. Woo, that's a mouthful right there, praise God, but it's the truth. It bothers me when our elderly people that work hard, amen, Sister Reese, they can't get the benefits due to them, but people out here, 20, 30, 40 years old, praise God, don't want to work because they're lazy. The Bible says there's a bunch of sluggards, amen to God. They don't want to do nothing, amen to God, but mooch off everybody who's working hard. Now, I'm not talking about people who's got disabilities. I don't mean that. They can't help that. Come on. Praise God. But people out here, amen to God, who do things on purpose, mooching off stuff, I tell you, they ought to be ashamed of themselves. And a lot of them is Christians. I'm all. Amen. Amen. My Lord. That's why we've got to trust in Jesus. Amen. Amen. That preached right there. Glory to God. Whew. That was good. Thank you, Jesus. Go with me in your Bibles tonight to 1 Corinthians chapter 1. Hallelujah. I said all that to get to my thought. Hallelujah. I won't keep you long tonight. I've got a simple word, but, but this is a word we need, amen, to God. Come on. We need, how, how many knows we need the word of God more than anything? Amen. More than any medicine? Well, it is our medicine, amen, to God. The word of God is. The word is life, amen? Amen. How many still believe that the Word of God is life-changing? Yes, amen. That the Word is not dead, it's alive and well, amen. praise God. Amen. It's more than just black ink on white pages, amen on, to God. Amen. It's more than just a leather binding part, amen to God. It's more than just a Bible cover over. It is a life-changing ah, yeah. Word. It's bring, amen to God. You speak that Word and things come alive that were amen. dead, amen. amen to God. Speak the Word in your life and see what happens. Speak the Word over a situation that was dead and see if that Word don't change. Change it, amen to God. If you have faith enough in God to believe it, amen. Come on. Praise God. First Corinthians chapter 1, beginning in verse 25, and we're going to read down to verse 29 in the name of Jesus. Reading from that King James Version, amen. amen. Is that all right? Amen. Can I preach from that here? Come on. Yeah. I bet, amen to God. Amen. I know Brother Bill let me, amen to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Can't okay, thank God 400 years is still going, amen to God, for the Come King on. James Version Bible. Amen. Go over to God. Because the foolishness of God is wiser than men. Well, amen to God. That will preach. Amen. Woo, man, that could preach all night. And the weakness of God is stronger than man. See, let me tell you something. No matter how foolish it looks, amen to God, if it's done in the name of Jesus, if God has orchestrated it up, it's going to be foolish to men. But amen to God, God uses those things, amen to God. We're going to get to that in a minute. For ye see your calling, brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called. Hallelujah. Come on. But God hath chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. Well, glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. God knows what He's doing. Amen to God. Yeah. I don't care how intellectually smart you are. It says God uses the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. Amen, Amen. to God. Amen. And God hath chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. See, God does things backwards yeah. from our carnal thinking. Yeah. Amen. See, our carnal minds would say, you need a big strong man to lift up furniture to move it. Come on. But God says, amen, in God's eyes, 
You can take, praise God, somebody like me being old toothpick, amen, to God, and I can lift the building if he's in it, amen, to God. Oh. Come on now. See, God uses, amen, to God, the foolish things, the weak things. What the world sees as weak, God turns that around and makes it strong, amen, amen. to God. See, God, hallelujah, when he was calling the disciples, he didn't go get the intellectually uh, people from the temple, praise God, who had all the, the knowledge of the law and everything, he went and got fishermen. He got tax collectors. He got sinners, amen, in other words, amen. amen to God. He went and got those, praise God, that he came to save, amen Come to God. On. I'm so glad about that. Whoa. He went and got an old lost sinner, praise God, that he knew he was going to use, that they would give everything up and follow oh. him, praise yes, God. Amen. See how God's way of thinking is, praise God? Yeah. He's backwards from the world. What's that, that, that little ichthus fish they call, where it goes in the opposite direction of the world, oh. it's fishing, this, it's going this way, where the way, where the water stream is going the other way, or something like that, praise God. God does things backwards from our carnal thinking. Hallelujah to his amen. name for that. Thank you, Jesus. And base things in the world, verse 28, and things which are despised hath God chosen. Glory to God. Amen. That's why you see, praise God, more people, praise God, who may have body odor being affected for the kingdom than you do those uppity class preppy people. Amen. Come Don't on, shout man. me down now. <clears throat> hath God chosen, yea, and things which are not to bring to naught things that are, that no flesh should glory in his presence. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God, that no flesh. Glory should glory in His presence. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And I want to talk to you tonight for a few minutes on something simple. But if we take this principle and put it into action, take this Word and believe it, praise God, I'll tell you tonight, praise God, no devil in hell can stop you, Mom. praise God. You'll be able to walk through like the children of Israel did at the Red Sea, amen to God. Amen. When you get up there with Moses, and Moses and the children look back, and here comes Pharaoh's army, you'll be able to look out, and Moses will stand, he'll say, stand still, and Come see on. the salvation of God, amen. and the Red Sea amen. will open, and you will walk through, amen to God, on dry ground. Oh. I'm telling you, little as much, when God is in it. Oh, yeah. you don't want to help me tonight. Oh. I'm telling you right now, little is much when God is in it. Amen. I don't care how much you got. If it's very little, if you got God in, it's much, praise Amen. God. He will turn it into a whole plethora of on. stuff, praise God. Amen. Father, we come before you now in the name of Jesus, oh, Lord God. God. Lord, we know we're insignificant tonight. We're just little. But Lord, we've got you. We've got your spirit tonight. We've got your name over us. We've got the blood. We've got the Holy Ghost in this temple, praise God. And we know little as much when you're in us, Lord God. Hide us behind your cross tonight. Lord God, help us to take this word and exercise it and put it into action, Lord God, and trust you and believe you only. Lord, forgive us in any way we have failed you, Lord. Lord in God. Jesus' Hallelujah. precious name, have your way tonight, Lord God, Amen. in this service. Amen. Amen. Have your same way, Lord God, tonight. Going out through the airwaves, touch those, Lord God, who are untouchable, Lord God. Touch those, Lord, who we can't see, who we can't physically touch. Touch them, Lord God, because you said your word would not return void. And we stand upon that word in Jesus' precious name. And the church said, Amen. And amen and amen. 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 Oh, hallelujah, mm -mm. hallelujah, hallelujah. I'll tell you today, that we've heard that saying for years, little as much when God is in it. But do we believe that, though? Come on. Do we believe that God can take the very little that we have. Come because on. I tell you, I don't care how much we acquire in this world, material material possessions, money, praise God, I don't care how much we acquire, it is still little. Come on. Praise God, the people sitting in these big, big million dollar mansions got millions of dollars in their bank account, got cars, got clothes, got fame, got everything, hallelujah, it's still little Amen. in God's eyes. See, he wants us to be humbled in his presence. Come on. See, he can't use somebody who's proud, who's cocky, who's boastful. You've got to be humble in the presence of God, and he can use you, amen, to God. Amen. See, there's problems today. I'm bothered today by the church, the modern church, if you will, because we've got more preachers who act like playboys than we do anything. Come on. Amen. Oh, come on now. We've got more television preachers who are more worried about 
Hollywood, praise God, they get makeup put on them before they go on camera. Oh. I think there's something wrong with a man wearing makeup himself. Now, I mean, come on now. Y'all need to shout with me if you agree with that. I think there's just something a little bit backwards there with a the man having to put on some foundation and some eye mascara so he can get on TV. Come I'll on. tell you one thing. Christians of old, amen to God, they didn't have to get all pricked and pretty, praise God. You put John the Baptist on your modern day TV, amen to God, come coming out of the wilderness, amen to God, eating wild locusts and honey, having his hair all wound up, probably had a little bit of body on him, amen to God. He wouldn't fit in with the modern day, hallelujah to God, television Christian crowd, amen to God. Amen. They would say he's half nuts and crazy, have him committed to the biggest Mental hospital you could. Yeah, come on. Because I tell you today, the standards that the world has put on the church, and did you hear I say that? The standard that the world has put on the church. Yeah. Hallelujah to God, is that we've got to look this certain way. Come we've on. got to come up in our three-piece suits, all nice and pressed, amen to God. Our shoes shined, our hair combed over a certain way, praise God. We've got to have certain jewelry on to fit come in on. to this. Praise God. If we're joined up with certain clubs like TBN or the 700 Club, amen to God, we've got to have their goofy little lapel pins and, and all their plaques and everything on there. I'm telling you today, my Jesus don't require you to have that. My Jesus says you've got to have the blood over you, amen oh, to God. Amen. The blood is over you that has washed your sins away, made you as white as snow in His presence, and when He looks at you, He says, I don't see, praise God, an old sinner. I see my son or my daughter, praise God, who once was lost and now is found. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Rejoicing, rejoicing, rejoicing in heaven. Praise God. The day you got born again. Amen. Because when you got born again, you got adopted into that spiritual Come family. On. Glory to God. You was an old Gentile, praise God, and now you are a son or a daughter of God. Amen. Amen. That ought to get Amen. you excited right there. Let me tell you who you are. You are a child of the king. Come on. You are a king's kid. Amen. The Vern Tripp wrote a song years ago called, I'm a king's kid. All the riches of the kingdom are mine. Amen to God. I'm Amen. telling you, we're not looking at natural things. We're looking at spirit. There's a place being prepared for us on the other side. Jesus said, I go and prepare a place for you that where I am, there you may be also. Praise God. Amen. Don't you worry about down here. Praise God. Don't you worry about acquiring everything. You store your riches in heaven. Praise God. Where people can't steal them. Where moth and rust can't corrupt them, praise God. But God is watching over them, and the Amen. devil can't take them. Amen. Woo! Glory to God. Amen. Yes, I'm fired up tonight, because I feel the Holy Ghost stirring up in my oh, soul about hallelujah, this. Hallelujah. I'm telling you tonight, church, little is much when God is in it. Amen? Come on. God uses the foolish things to confound the wise. Amen? Amen. I mean, how many of us today, remember the story where, where Jesus told the disciples to go fishing? Because taxes were due. Come on. Was it was it taxes or was it something? I think it was taxes that were due, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Praise God. They went fishing, brother Billy. Come on. Got their net, same man to God, or of this modern day, they got their special fishing rods and lures, and went out there and caught them a fish. Amen. And they opened the fish's mouth, and what they find in it? That's money. Found some money. <laughs> I tell you, how many of us today, when the light bills do, needs to go fishing? Yeah, come on. Oh, come on now. Come on. See, amen to God. See, I'm not talking about that carnal fishing. I'm talking about go fishing for some men, amen come to God. On, amen. I'm talking about go fishing for souls, amen to God. See, you got to look at it with the eye of faith, amen to God. See, God uses the foolish things. Bless you, brother, amen to God. Amen. Hallelujah. He uses the foolish things. How many people would have suggested go fishing to get your money to pay taxes? Come on. And this is the time of year, praise God. Yeah. The IRS, the tax man cometh, as the old saying goes. The tax man will get his cuts. Come on. Some of us owe taxes, some of us don't, amen to God. Come on. But if I told you, praise God, go fishing. Get your money to pay your taxes. You'd look at me like I was half nuts. Yeah. But Jesus did it. Yeah. And if he can do it, so can we. Amen. Amen. Come on. That's not that's not being crazy. That's not being stupid. That's obeying. That's following His word. Amen. Amen. See, God will tell you will will lead you to do things for His glory that you don't realize that you'll get a blessing for it. Come on. Well, brother Mike, you, I just don't want to witness to that person I work with because they get on my last nerve. 
I'll tell you, I, I, I just pray them into hell, amen, to God. But let me tell you something you don't realize. You be a, a true light to that, to that man or woman who, to that co-worker. I don't know why I feel led to say this, but I'm going to say it. You be a true light to that co-worker, praise God, who doesn't know Jesus. Come on. And you don't realize how much of a blessing you're going to get. Yeah. Praise God. You don't realize that soul may come to know Christ. Amen. Not only that, you don't realize how much God may use that person to bless you. Amen. That same individual I asked for prayer for earlier, the young man Darren, and he don't mind me saying this, praise God. He told me the other day, he said, brother, he said, they just had a baby recently. And his wife is not working. She's at home with the baby. And he's, he's working all the time. And, you know, he's, he's I think, in his mid-20s. And he's, you know, he's tired. Yeah. Having a baby will keep you up. Don't shout me down. Come on. Hunter will hear this when he gets older. Praise God. And I hope he does. Yeah. Amen. He said there was a man that come in out there. Said he didn't really get along with him too well. He said, but he went on being nice to him, helping him out, showing him how to do things, assisting him in what he needed to do physically. So that man come up to him later then that day. Of course, he didn't like him, he said. So that man gave him a $100 bill. Praise the Lord. Blessed him with that. He said he needed it. Yeah. Amen to God. When you have a baby, things cost. Come on. You know, it costs nowadays. But I'll tell you, God will bless you. If you're just obedient to Him, amen to God. See, little is much when God is in it, amen, amen. God. He could have got all saying, well, I don't need to help this man. He's a hateful individual. But no. He chose to let the love of Jesus flow through him. Sometimes you've got to make that choice, amen to God. Amen. You've got to let Jesus just flow through you, whether you want to or not. We've got to put this flesh under submission. And we got to let God be God. Amen? Come on. Is this helping anybody tonight? I'll tell you, I'll tell you this, is, this is a simple word, but praise God, we've got to put it into, into action. Amen? Yeah. That's good. Look at your neighbor and say, little is much when God is in it. Little is much when God is in it. Hallelujah. There's, instances, there's many instances in the Word of God, it says, where little is much when God is in it. The Bible says in Proverbs 15, 16, Better, listen to this now, this is powerful. Better is little with the fear of the Lord than great treasure and trouble therewith. Come on. See, I'd rather be broke, Brother Billy, not have a dime to my name. Yeah. Praise God, not knowing where I'm going to get my next bite to eat as long as I'm right with Jesus, amen to God. Amen. And to have all the money in the world and my soul be lost. Amen. I would rather be poor, living in a cardboard box, and knowing my life is right with Jesus. That if I should die, amen to God, I know where I'm going, amen to God. Than to have all the treasures of this world. Because I tell you, the treasures and wealth of this world will not make you happy. On. The only happiness you're going to truly find is in that of Jesus Christ who died died for you at the cross 2,000 years ago. Hallelujah. That's the only place you're going to find fulfillment, joy, and happiness. I don't care if you buy all the new equipment around, all the best electronics, the new, amen to God, iPad coming out. Hallelujah. God, it don't matter. The newest car, the newest clothes, it don't matter. If you ain't got Jesus, amen to God, you may be happy for a short time. But it runs out. Amen. Yes, it does. I've seen rich people. I've seen people buy things. Amen to God. And they tear up and then they're miserable because what they so hoped for, that thing, that treasure they wanted, it wasn't what they thought it was going to be. Come on. They put all their hope into that particular idol, that idol they made for themselves. Amen. See, that's why you can look at, amen to God, grannies nowadays who trust only in Jesus, praise God. They may not have nothing but just a little social security check each month, but they're happy in Jesus. You know why? Because they've got their eyes on Jesus and their mind made up. Come on. Amen. And they're going to tell it everywhere they go. Amen to God. Amen. They don't care about the world. Amen to God. All they care about is Jesus. Amen, Amen to God. All they care about is giving Jesus to everybody. Amen to God. And that, is that the way you feel tonight? Because we all need to get to the point. We need to get like Christ was where we just give everything we got to people. Amen to God. I don't mean let people walk over you and abuse you. Amen. And take advantage of you. Because I think the Lord will give you wisdom on that. But I mean if somebody needs something, help them. Come on. If God has blessed you to help them, help them. Praise Amen. God. Because you don't realize you may be in the same boat they're in later on down the road. Come on. 
Praise God. I tell you, there's been times, Brother Billy, and you may can, you may can agree with me on this, amen to God, where I did not know how ends were going to meet. Yeah. There was times that bills were more, praise God, than what was coming in. Come on. How many's ever had that happen? Amen, amen to God. Amen. You had more bills coming in than you had money to cover. But you knew deep in your heart, praise God. And I say this honestly, because I'll tell you, there was a time in my life, and I mean this, and the Lord knows I mean it too, amen to God, to where tithing, praise God, I just couldn't do it. Because it was either give my tithe to God or buy something to eat. And I got to the point, amen to God, before I got remarried, amen to God, I said, Lord, I don't care if I starve to death. I'm going to make sure you get your part, amen to God. i tell you right now because he said if you do what he asks you to do, he Come will on. take care of you. And that's where you got to trust him and know that little is much when God is in it. Amen. Praise God. Y'all have heard me tell this before. I'm going to tell it again because it will build your faith. I was down. I did not have much money. Amen to God. Hardly none. Amen to God. I was going to the post office one day to get my mail and to get mail for work. Amen to God. And the gas hand was almost on E right at the blind there. Praise God. I did not know I had three days left to a payday. I'm like, Lord, I don't know what I'm going to do. Praise God. I come out of the post office and I look down and there's a $50 bill folded up right there at the corner. Amen to God. When you oh. step off that sidewalk. Don't you tell me God didn't have that fall out of somebody's pocket for Brother Mike, praise God. I'm telling you right now, God will take care of his own no matter what. Amen. That money could have been used to go buy drugs. That money could have been used to go buy lottery tickets. Uh -huh. But God said, hey, that $50 is going to my son, Brother uh -huh. Mike Hesley, amen to God, because he's got a purpose, amen to God. Amen. And he trusts you, amen to God. How many ever had that happen where uh -huh. God would just make a way when there seemed to be no way? Amen. 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 Glory to God. Better is little with the fear of the Lord than great treasure and trouble therewith. Go Amen. with his shot like I thought. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. I tell you, church, praise God. If we just Lord, grab a hold of that truth, amen to God, and trust in Him tonight. Come on. Praise God. He will take care of us. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. Mm. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I'm going to give you a few examples from the Word, and then we're going to be done. Amen to God. Hallelujah. You're probably saying, shut up, brother. Hallelujah. That's okay, praise God. They tell me shut up all the time. I'm off. But i got to keep talking. Hallelujah. This is a new year, praise God. And I'll tell you, church, I told, before I get into this, I'll tell you, I told the Lord at the first of the year, church, and I'll tell you, the Lord knows I'm telling the truth on this, that I said I am not going to hold back no more of the word that he gives me. I'm going to get every word out of me, praise God, when I have an opportunity, praise God. I've got to do it because, hallelujah, there are souls out there that needs to be saved. There are souls out there going to hell. Even this very minute and hour that we're in, somebody's dying tonight without Jesus on their way to hell. Oh. I don't know about y'all, but it bothers me. It bothers me that I can't reach everybody, praise God. All we can do is reach with what God has given us, amen to God. Oh. Somebody would say, well, there's not a whole lot of people in VOTL, but let me tell you something. You look beyond that. See, I made my mind up. See, I look past how many people's here, because I know my Bible says, where two or three are gathered together oh. in my name, never mind the midst of them also. And we've got more than two or three here tonight, Amen to God. I also claim that promise. Where two or three agree as touching upon one thing, oh. it shall be done by the Father. Amen to God. That's a promise right there you can bank on. Amen, Amen. to God. Amen. You say, Brother Mike, you're still just a little people here. Yeah, but you don't realize this is going out further than oh. this year. Amen to God. When we put it on the radio, praise God, oh. it's going worldwide. Amen yeah. to God. And that word is touching people's lives. When we put it on YouTube, amen to God, oh. it's going out and touching and ministering to people. We're looking with the eye of faith, amen to God. That's why we keep doing and going and keep going for Jesus. Come on, amen. Because little is much when God is in it. Amen. Ooh, forward to God. How many knows, praise God, that a little bread is much when God is in it? Amen? Amen. Go with me to John chapter 6, praise God. We're going to go through this real fast, amen to God. I'm not going to keep you too long because I know we're all tired, amen. 
But I'll tell you, whoo, God, he shot out of my tie. Hallelujah to God. Man, I feel the Spirit stirring up tonight. Amen to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I feel that, amen to God, some water is going to be turned into some new wine tonight. Amen to God. Hallelujah to God. We need to get drunk again in the Holy Ghost, church. We need to fall out and just get drunk. Hallelujah to God. How many just wants to get drunk tonight in the Spirit? Amen to God. Hallelujah. We walk a little bit different, praise God. Not like the world gets drunk. I'm talking about getting drunk, praise God, where people know you are a born again believer. Amen to God. Amen. Glory to God. They'll know you when you're coming. Hallelujah. I want to get drunk. Amen to God. Tonight, Lord, just let us get drunk tonight in Jesus' name. Hallelujah to God. Glory to God. I pray that over everybody in here tonight. We all get drunk tonight. We all be a bunch of spiritual drunkards. Amen. Woo! Glory to God. I'm glad to be called a spiritual drunk. Amen? I'm on. Ooh, I'm all right to come from it. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Drink some wine with some bread. Amen to God. Some manna from... Hallelujah to God. Man, I felt that. Thank you, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. I'll be preaching another message here in a minute. Glory to God. John chapter 6, beginning in verse 1. After these things, Jesus went over the Sea of Galilee, which is the Sea of Tiberias. And a great multitude followed him because they saw his miracles which he did on them that were diseased. And Jesus went up into a mountain, and there he sat with his disciples. And the Passover, a feast of the Jews, was nigh. When Jesus then lifted up his eyes and saw a great company come unto him, he saith unto Philip, When shall we buy bread that these may eat? And this he said to prove him, for he himself knew what he would do. Philip answered him, Two hundred penny worth of bread is not sufficient for them, that every one of them may take a little. One of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, saith unto him, There is a lad here which hath five barley loaves and two small fishes. But what are they among so many? Oh, hallelujah, five loaves, praise God, and two fishes for these many people. Oh, I'm telling you, little as much when God is in it. Amen? Amen? Come on now. And Jesus said, Make the men sit down. Now there was much grass in the place, so the men sat down in number about 5,000. It said there was 5,000 men, amen to God. We're going to see there's a lot more than that here in just a second. Jesus took the loaves, and when he had given thanks, he distributed to the disciples, and the disciples to them that were set down, and likewise to the fishes as much as they would. When they were filled, he said unto his disciples, Gather up the fragments that remain that nothing be lost. Glory to God. Therefore they gathered them together and filled twelve baskets with the fragments of the five barley loaves which remained over and above unto them that had eaten. Now there was, they said, 5,000 men there, right? Amen. Matthew 14, 21 said, And they that had eaten were about 5,000 men besides women and children. Yeah. Amen. Besides women and children. Amen. So there could have been ten or 15,000 people there. But God fed them all. With five barley loaves and two fish. Amen. A two fish, feed, fish dinner God oh. fed them people with. Oh, don't tell me little as much when God is in it. Amen, amen to God. I think about that child, amen to God, that gave that. Come on. You may say tonight, praise God, Brother Mike, I can't speak good, or I can't sing a song good, or I can't do this or that good. But I tell you, you're like that child who brought those five loaves and two fishes and said, this is all I've got, Jesus. You may say, all I can do is drive somebody down the road, amen to God. But God says, little as much when I'm in it, amen to God. So don't you think you're insignificant, praise God. God can use you no matter what, praise God. I feel that for somebody here to encourage you, amen to God. Don't you let nobody or the devil tell you, praise God, you're a nobody. You are a somebody to Jesus, amen to God. That I preach right there. Somebody say amen. 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 Man, the house should have been shouting on that, amen. Hallelujah. Mm-mm-mm. 10 or 15,000 people probably got fed from that. Yeah. With five loaves and two fish. Yeah. Amen. Powerful. Millions of people are being touched tonight Come on. by what few of us are here. Oh, hallelujah. He shot on my top, on my top. I'm telling you tonight, Brother Billy, I know, praise God, what you feel. 
I know sometimes it gets discouraging, amen to God, when you don't always hear from somebody, amen to God. You go the extra mile. You preach as hard as you can. You sing as hard as you can for Jesus. But sometimes it don't feel like you're even going past the walls. But I'll tell you, little is much when God is in it. Because God amen. takes the Word and He propels it out there, praise God, like He took those five loaves and two fishes. He takes VOTL radio, Come praise on. God, and He lets the Word in song, amen to God, in the preached Word, and He takes it out to the airwaves, amen to God, all across this nation, all across the world, amen to God. Amen. Because little is much. When God is in it. Amen to God. Yeah. We may not be getting, amen to God, big old high tithers, amen to God, who gives thousands of dollars each month, but I tell you those faithful people, praise God, who gives their $5, their $10, their $25, or yeah. maybe their $2, amen to God, or their change, amen to God. Little is much when God is amen. in it. Praise God. I'm telling you right now, hallelujah to God. It may not seem like things are going to come together. It may seem come like on. we're going to cut the lights off and the internet's going to shut down but little is much when God is in it. I'm telling you right now praise God. We can take every God everything He's blessed us with we can run with it. Take it to the Savior's feet and say Lord this is all I have when He said little is much when I'm in it. When you include Jesus amen to God little is much when God is in it. Look at your neighbor and say little is much when God is in it. My Lord Jesus hallelujah I'm telling you tonight, it takes everybody to make this work. Come on. Woo! This ain't a one-man show. It's a God show, amen, amen to God. Amen. It's all about Him. Amen. But when He sees you faithfully That's good for doing him. what you do, Brother Billy, when He sees you come down, <laughs> hallelujah, when He sees you come down here and cry out to Him and pray over this, this church over this ministry that he's called you and Sister Reese into, amen to God. He says, little is much when I'm in it, praise God. He sees your faithfulness. And I'll tell you, I'm not bragging on Brother Billy, but there's not many people like Brother Billy Douglas around, amen to God, who will go the above and the extra mile for you, praise God. I'll tell you, that brother has blessed me more in ministry, not only in ministry, but he's blessed me in friendship. He's more than a friend to me. I love him and everybody in here. Y'all are my family, praise amen. God. You're not friends, you're my family, praise God. And I love each and every one of you. I lay my life down for each and every one of you because God has blessed me above and beyond, praise God, with folks that love me and care about me when I didn't have nobody who was there for me except Jesus. God knew to bring me back to Hopkinsville, Kentucky, back in December of 2007, praise God, to come and join up with you folks here, praise God, to have a work, amen to God, for the kingdom of heaven, amen. Because little is much. When God is in it. When I sit there that morning, praise God. I don't know why I feel led to say this, but Lord, have your way. It may be for somebody out there and listening to us over the radio. I tell you that morning, when I tried to end my life, praise God. God said, little as much when I'm in it. Because I knew to call out on Jesus, amen to God. I knew to call upon the name of the Lord. My Bible says, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved, amen to God. And he knew I was his child and I called out to Jesus because little is much when God is in it. Amen. Amen. Woo, thank you Jesus. Somebody looked at your neighbor and said little is much little when is God much. is in it. God. I want you to get that in your spirit tonight. Amen to God. Little is much oh, yeah. when God is, God, in God, God is in it. Tell the devil little is, little much, is much when God, God is in it. Amen to God. Because I tell you one thing. You're faithful to God. God said He would stand at the edge, come praise on. God, of your heart, of your field, and oh, God. He would rebuke the devourer for your sakes. That old devil oh, can't come in your field, amen, to God, and cause your harvest, praise oh, God, to go bad. That devil can't come in and take that old seed, praise God, that God has given you to plant, praise God, that oh, He has watered, amen, to God. He will stand there at the edge and say, amen. Devil, I rebuke you because this is my child, and you're not taking His harvest. Glory. Because little is much 
when God is in us. Amen. I often think, Brother Billy, about that boy. Come on. We don't hear too much more about that boy after that. Yeah. But you know that boy was blessed. Amen. Because he fed those 5, 10, 15,000 people that were there. Come on. He gave them natural food while Jesus gave them the spiritual. Woo! 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 Somebody shout amen. Amen. Praise God. You may say, praise God, I'm old and all I can do is cook a meal. But that's okay. You feed the man of God because uh -huh. he's going to feed the people the word of God. Praise Whoa. God. You take care of God's man. God will take care of you. Amen to God. Amen. Remember the woman with her boy down to her last meal. Amen to God. Uh -huh. I'm going there. Amen to God. Yeah, I'm going there. Y'all help me now. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. When the man of God said, feed me, praise God. She said, all we got left is one meal. And if we cook it, we're going to die. But you know what? They obeyed the instruction of the man of God. And when they obeyed the instruction of the man of God, God blessed them. Hallelujah to God. They didn't run out of food. They had more than enough. Somebody look at your neighbor and say, my God is more than enough. He will supply my need. Hallelujah. Because little as much when God is in it. Woo! Glory to God. Hallelujah. Somebody lift your hands and say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for being, hallelujah, blessing us, amen to God. Thank you for your mercy and love. Thank you for salvation, amen to God. Little as much when God is in it. Glory to God. Sister Reese, I'm going to use you just for a second, amen to God. Hallelujah. I remember when you was working at the store down here, amen to God. Are you still, are you down here with that other one still? Calhoun. I seen where God is taking you from, praise God. You couldn't get Sunday mornings off. You couldn't even get Tuesday nights off. You remember that, brother? Yeah. Remember when she was working, amen, to God, and we were praying, Lord, let, let, let send somebody in there that will give her that time off so uh -huh. she can be in the house of God. Because I know Brother Billy wants her here as an encouragement to him, amen, to God. I know he wants his wife here to stand by his side, amen, to God, when he's uh -huh. doing God's work. Now look where you're at. You're here, praise God. Amen. You're here on Sundays, amen to God. You're here on Tuesdays, amen to God. Uh -huh. That's God right there. See, little as much when God is in it, amen, amen to God. See, God took you from one place to another, amen to God. And that's what He wants to do, amen. amen. I hope I didn't embarrass you by saying that, praise God. I'm just showing you what God does when you're faithful to Him. Come on. Woo, amen. Just like, amen to God, I've been believing this. For this church, I had a dream, amen, to God. I told Lori, I didn't know whether or not to say it, but I feel the Holy Ghost and the anointing on me now. I'm going to say it now because I believe it's going to come to pass. I believe this whole block building here is going to be VOTLs. Praise the Lord. I believe Hallelujah. next door. Praise God. That they're going to go under, not in a bad way. They're going to go under, and we're going to get that over there, praise God, for ministry. Amen. Amen. I believe we're going to get this whole building for ministry, praise God. I'll tell you, I've seen in a dream, amen, to God, that we have live internet services going on uh -huh. on Sunday mornings and Tuesday nights where people can tune in live, amen, Whoa. to God, and hear the Hallelujah. Word of God that changes lives. Amen. I believe it by faith. Faith, amen to God. I believe it with my heart. Praise God that amen. that's going to come to pass. Amen to God. Because what's going forth from this ministry is the Word of God. It's the truth, amen to God, that will change this old wretched world that's on their way to hell. Praise God. That will bring hope, praise God, to those that are without hope. That will bring faith to the faithless, praise God. Amen. That will see the lost, praise God, turn back to run to the cross. Amen. Because amen. little is much. When God is in it. Hey, man, to God, I'm closing up right now. Praise God. I got so much more. This may have to be a part two, amen, to God. That's all right. May have to go into it next time I'm down here. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let me read this to you as we close out. I think I'm going to have to finish it up next time. Praise God. This is too good. Just, just right. quit. Hallelujah amen. to God. Amen. Do y'all remember John F. Kennedy? making a quote in the inaugural address in 1961. Remember what he said here. My fellow Americans, ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. How many of you remember that? Amen. John F. Kennedy said that. So I'm going to change it around in the spiritual for a minute. Ask not what the Lord can give to you, but ask what you can give to the Lord. Amen. Woo! Oh, hallelujah to God. Ask not what the Lord can give to you. Come on. But ask what can you give to Him. Amen. How many would say tonight, Brother Mike, Lord, 
what can I give you? Praise God. I may not have money, but Lord, here I am. This is all I have to offer you is me. This is all I have to offer you is me, Lord. Amen. Give him what you got. Yeah. Praise God, because little is much. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Little is much. And when God is in it, amen, amen to God. I tell you, we ought to tell the devil tonight, little is much. Amen. When God is in it. Glory oh. to God. Because I can think of a few things and we're closing out. How many knows what G what God gave us? What did God give us? Come on. He gave us Jesus, amen. 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 And what did we see come out of that? Come on. When God came down in the form of a man, Christ Jesus. Oh, look at what happened when little is much when God is in it. Come on. He went to the cross. Yeah. Woo! Glory. Hallelujah. He was a baby in the womb of a woman named Mary. Come on. And he grew up to go to Calvary Amen. so he could die, so he could bridge the gap between God and a fallen man who was Come on their way to hell. God yeah. gave us his best statement to God. Amen. See, little as much when God is in it. Amen to God. Hallelujah. What did Jesus give? Amen to God. He said, greater love than a man lay down his life for his friends. Amen to God. See, little as much when God is in it. Amen. Woo, go over to God. I'm telling you tonight. You may be little, but it's much because God is in you. Amen, Amen. to God. Let's stand to your feet tonight, church. Hallelujah. We're probably going to have to do a number, part two on this, praise God. I'll tell you, there's more to this. Go over to God. I didn't cover everything, but man, I just let the Lord just take me the way He wanted to. Amen. Is that all right, Amen. church? Amen. Praise God. I don't want to quench the Spirit, but I want God to be God. Amen. Come on. How many tonight are battle weary? How many, just honestly, how many has just been through, hallelujah, hell and high water? The devil has beat you, thrown things against you. Your anchor is in Jesus Christ, amen to God. Your anchor down in Him. Praise God on Christ, the solid rock you stand all on the ground and seek and sand. But the devil has come at you with high winds and everything, beating you up, and you're tired. How many is just worn down tonight? Come on. In the Spirit, praise God. If you're worn down tonight, praise God, I want you to come to this altar down here. And I want us to pray tonight that God will restore you, praise God. Restore you not only physically, but spiritually, amen, to God. Because we all need a fresh new touch of the anointing, amen. 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 Oh, God. Hallelujah. I'll tell you what, better Hallelujah. yet, everybody come to the altar tonight. This ain't, oh, amen to God, this ain't to embarrass nobody. Because we all as a family in God, 